Okay. Got my coffee and are the paper book version. Good morning. I turned on the dryer yesterday night and I just went to bed. It is Saturday and look at this cute Good morning everyone, it is a typical weekday. I have zero makeup on, so it's my bare face. Bear with me. I just sent my baby Sandra to daycare and I'm currently going to get a quick workout done before I head out to my next schedule. Today I have to work on my PhD research. So I have to go over to the university campus. And in the afternoon, I am gonna go back to the hospital and do my work my regular work so i arrived at the gym let's get the workout done get going worked out took a shower did my makeup and i feel very fresh and very rejuvenated and great it is lunchtime and i came to my parents house because because I accidentally put the wrong address in one of my packages so it came to my parents house so I had to go get him and in my previous videos I saw some of you mention Mary who is our family dog and she's been with us for more than 10 years she's just chilling in the living room I was really surprised when some of you mentioned Mary because like that means that you are a true loyal subscriber because she's been in my videos when I was going to medical school. Yeah, so this is Mary. She's doing fine. I just wanted to show her to you guys. So, got my package and I need to go back to the hospital because lunchtime is almost over. I'll see you guys later. It's finally the day before I go to Boston and I'm currently on my way to the bank to get some dollars. I exchanged it um, previously on my app, on my bank app and I have to get it. Okay, 
got my coffee and got my stuff that I needed to buy before the trip and I'm good to go. I'm gonna go try and edit my video that I want to get up before I head to the States. I got my coffee from Bex Cafe and I got the caramel macchiato and it's way bigger than Starbucks and way cheaper. So I'm like, why was I getting caramel macchiato from Starbucks always? But you know, the Starbucks one is, is more delicious, definitely. I remember that I really wanted to share some books that I got for entertainment. I bought a lot of books about a month ago, but I really haven't had the chance to read a lot of them. So I wanted to just share because these are like, oh, because these are like all very famous books. From time to time, I get the urge to buy a bunch of books that are like New York Times bestseller, Sunday Times bestseller, Reese's Book Club, uh, Oprah's Book Club, like things like that. I just get the feeling that I'm missing out of good reads. So I got a few stuff and I wanted to share. But now I'm currently reading The Tattooist of Auschwitz, which is a story based on a real experience about the Nazis. I feel really like sad reading it. So it's hard for me to read it like continuously. It's hard for me to read it and not feel anything. So I'm kind of reading it very slowly, but it's a good book and I, and I really see why it's a bestseller. And these are the paper book versions that I got. The first one is The Midnight Library. As you can see, I read about this much, but then I began to read The Tattoos of Auschwitz later. So, but I am interested to finish this. And I also have this. This was apparently made into a movie or drama or something, I think because there's a poster right here. This is Normal People by Sally Rooney. And I read a little bit of it. Um, it's Oh, it's now a BBC program. And I just love books that have beautiful covers. Like, look at these. Like these, you really want to read them when you see them because they are just colorful, beautiful. And this is called Lessons in Chemistry. And this one, like, I mean, look at it. Like, the cover is so bright and colorful and lovely and cute. So it says, your ability to change everything, including yourself, starts here. I have no clue what this is about. Um, this says it's a page turning and highly satisfying. Sparks joy with every page. I am devastated to have finished it. So excited to read that. And the last one is this, The House of Eve by... Sadiqa, Sadiqa Johnson, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Yeah, this was from Reese's Book Club. The House of Eve is an unforgettable tale of motherhood, ambition, the perils of prejudice, and the heartache of forbidden love. So those are the books that I got for this summer. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. Let me know what your favorite book is right now. What's your current summer read? I would really, really love to know. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and click subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. 